TV and Internet together at last. The world's first HD TV powered by Google TV. Expect to see ads like this one in the coming weeks as companies promote their new Internet TV offerings. Whether it's an integrated TV, standalone box, or Blu-ray player, all these devices allow you to bring web content to your television. Google TV product lead Rishi Chandra believes it's the future. A lot of users watch great TV today on their television, but they have to watch all this great web video content on a PC or mobile phone. Our belief is that all of this should be coming into one single experience inside the living room, and that's what really Google TV is trying to deliver. Apple TV and others are also trying to deliver internet content to your television. They're all part of the over-the-top TV market. That is, technology, video, and on-demand content delivered over the top of cable and satellite providers to your television via an internet connection. Analyst Tim Baharan points out the market has been in the making for 10 years, but still hasn't taken off. We're trying to shove a, a medium like the internet on, a, on another medium that we've had for you know decades and trying to bring them together. And at least at this point, no one has figured out how to, how to seamlessly integrate them well. Content seems to be the biggest barrier. Some media companies are reacting to over-the-top TV by blocking programming on some of the new internet TV devices. Gartner analyst Mike McGuire thinks there's going to be a lot of thrashing about over content rights and licensing. These decades of agreements between broadcasters, cable companies, affiliates, and the revenue and contracts are enormous, you know, billions of dollars. And that's going to get reallocated over time. And so there's a substantial battle. Some believe over the top is already cutting into the cable TV industry. A new report says 741,000 customers dropped their cable subscriptions in the third quarter, the largest decline in 30 years. Cable companies cite the weak economy and high unemployment as reasons for the drop-off. Others say it's because younger viewers are increasingly watching programs on their computers. With limited commercial interruption. To move the over-the-top market forward, a coalition of cable and entertainment companies has set up the Entertainment ID Registry. It's working on creating an ID for content, sort of like a UPC code. Analyst Mike McGuire says it'll make it easier for companies to track rights and report revenue across multiple platforms. The EIDR is probably, I think, one of the more significant developments to keep an eye on because that is going to remove some real serious friction points in the way content gets made available to services like Google TV, Apple TV, etc. Once standards, content tracking and licensing are worked out, Google's Rishi Chandra believes over-the-top TV will create new market opportunities for many. DVD market was a huge creator of revenue for a lot of different uh, content creators. I think the cable industry was a good example 30 years ago of how it created new value and new revenue opportunities. I think you're going to see the exact same thing happen in the over-the-top market. Eventually, Internet TVs will be commonplace in our living rooms. But analysts believe it'll be five or six years before the over-the-top market is ready for prime time. Robin McElhatton, Nightly Business Report, Silicon Valley.